Hi and welcome to another video in my Learning Lightroom series. In this video I want to look at the Spot Removal tool and some of its uses. Now the tool was updated in Lightroom 5 and allows us to do a lot more repair work in Lightroom without even opening Photoshop now. So let's start with this image here. Now if we zoom in to this top corner we'll have a look and you can see that Oh God, yeah, there is some pretty horrendous sensor dust. Now there's some, most of it is in like little dots, but there is a couple of bits like this. It looks like a bit of a tree trunk. I don't know how that got in there, but that is definitely a concern. So I think my next job is to have my sensor clean. But this video is about how Lightroom can help us. Now by changing lenses, which we all have to do, this is going to happen dust is going to get in and it's going to get attracted to the sensor. So how can Lightroom help? Well we can clean this up with the spot removal tool. So we're in the develop module so I'm going to go over to the toolbar and select the spot removal tool or press Q on the keyboard. Now let's have a quick run through what's in the dialog box here. We've got a clone option and a heal option. Well the clone option it just duplicates a sampled area and puts it over the top of a selected area. Now the heel, it matches the texture, the lighting and the shading of the sampled area to the selected area. So it gives you a much better result. So down here we've got the size. If we look we can make it bigger or smaller by changing this slider. Uh, we can do it on the fly by using the square brackets so I can make it smaller or bigger using the left and right square brackets. Uh, we've got feather which is the softness of the edge of the brush so if I move that slider up you'll see that we've got like two lines now. Now the inner line is where the the edge of the hard brush finishes, the outer line is where the edge of the transition finishes and everything in between is the softness it's like a transition from hard through to soft. And then of course we've got an opacity slider where we can decide do we want it to be fully opaque or do we want to be able to see through it. I'm going to leave that set to 100 and for this particular job I'm going to set the feather down to zero to give me a little bit of a hard edge. Now we can see all these dots that need that need getting rid of um, but what I need to do is to have my brush just a little bit bigger than the dot. So something maybe like that. And now I'm just going to click to repair that particular dot. And you can see what Lightroom's done, it's generated another circle for me. And this is where it's sampling from and it's going to transfer the pixels from in here and lay them over the top of that blob that I want to get rid of there. Now if you think it's in the wrong place what we can do if you hover over it and you've got to be careful because if you just hover over the edge you get that up and down arrow and if you click on that what you'll do is you'll make this the actual areas bigger or smaller. What you've got to do is get right over the top till you get the hand tool and then when you click and drag you can actually move that area to an area that suits you that you think gives you a good result. And you'd obviously put it somewhere good, you wouldn't put it over here because then you'd be copying those pixels into there, which we don't want. So I'm going to bring it back round to somewhere there. Lightroom can help you with this. If you press the forward slash key, what Lightroom will do is it'll try and intelligently assess where the best match would come from. So I'm just keeping on pressing until I find one that I think is a good one. And I'm happy with that so I'll leave it there. So let's get on with this repair. We'll just click and well, that's gone a bit far so I'll drag that back. And now all I'm doing is just going and clicking on all these pieces of sensor dust to cover them up with good pixels. And I'm not going to do it all. I'll just just do a few just to give you an idea. Now here we've got one that's a little bit bigger and it's an odd shape it's not a circle so in, instead of having to have a really big circle to cover it up what you can do is you can drag and create non-circular selections. There we go exactly the same just move it round till you get it to suit yourself. 
and I'll do this one up here. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Now you can also do linear selections. I can show you better on another image. So I'll just swap to another image and we'll zoom back out. And you can see here, I've got like the exhaust trail from a plane. And I might think, well, that's a little bit distracting. I want to get rid of that. And I've got another little one here. And I've got this lamp that I think, you know, let's see if we can get rid of that. So, okay, I'm going to press my square brackets. Get me brush about the right size. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to click once and let go of the mouse. And then I'm going to move the mouse to the other end of the repair. And I'm going to hold the shift key down and I'm going to click once again. And what that will do is generate a long repair. And so I can try one. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll try and get rid of this first. So what I'll do is I'll click drag round it and then let go. Now I think that's done a good job. And then this little piece here, what I'll do is I'll click at this end and I'll shift click at the other end to get rid of that. Now you can see you can only have one repair active at any one time. So if I wanted to go back and do something with this one, I'd have to click on it to get the dots to appear. And then if I wanted that one, I'd have to click on that one. If all the dots are getting in your face a little bit and you'd like just to be able to see the image, then what you can do is you can press the H key. And what that'll do is that'll hide all the dots. But you've got to remember that you've pressed it so that the next time you start trying to do a repair, you'll be wondering why it's not happening. So if you press the H key again to bring them back. OK, well, let's go back to our original image where we've now got all these little repairs done up in this corner. I'll just zoom in again just to show you that they're all still there. Now, if you've got a repair that you get wrong and you think, well, I want to get rid of that, then what you can do is you can click on it to put the dots in it and then press the backspace key and it'll delete it. But that isn't one that I wanted to get rid of. So I'll put that back again and just make the brush a little bit smaller with the left bracket key and just repair another couple of these bits here. Because there's so much that it would take me all day to repair it. But you can, you can see what I'm doing. OK, now there is a tool overlay here, which we've, we've looked at in the other image where you can basically just press the H key to hide it. But this is where you can decide, well, different methods. So we've got an auto and what auto means is as long as I'm over the image, you see the overlays. If I move off the image, they disappear so I can see the image. And this is a pretty good one to have as default. You can also choose to have them on always so they're there all the time. Or you can have a selected one, which is basically the last one you were working on. Or you can have never, so you never see them. I don't really see the point in that. But I'm going to keep that set to auto. And then when I move over, I can see where the points are. Now, a fantastic feature now that I use all the time is called the Visualize Spots. And if I go and put a little tick in this box here, you'll see the image will change to like a, a dark overlay. And what this is doing, it's called, it's called a contrast overlay, and it's looking for all the high contrast areas, which is obviously going to be the sensor dust because it's, it's dust against a blue background. So I'll just zoom out a little bit so you can have a look. And now you can see that there's lots of areas that I've missed. If I just turn that off, you can see that I might have missed some of these. OK, there's a couple of obvious ones, but there are lots in there that I probably might not have seen. So if I now go to my Visualize Spots again, I can move this slider and I can actually just show all the ones that have got really high contrast areas that are going to be sensor dust and I can if you want you can repair them from here or you can go back to the original image and repair them but here I can actually see all the specs of sensor dust get rid of that get rid of that one bit down here that may not be dust but it's going anyway so you see what I mean 
this visualize spots is really cool let me just zoom out a little bit and yeah I've probably got most of it now so I'll just turn off that visualize spots and you can see here now I've got all these areas which are now repaired now another useful feature is to use this in conjunction with what they call synchronize now let's imagine that I've taken several photos at this location which on this occasion I did so I've took one here and I've took one here but you can see now I'll just zoom in a little bit you can see I've got whoops just get rid of that I've got exactly the same sensor dust on this image and I've got exactly the same sensor dust on that image so what I'm going to do I'm going to click to make that one the, the selected image let's just go and go back to fit so you can see it and I'm going to shift click well I can do it on all four and then the sync button comes available and if I click now on the sync button it'll ask me what do I want to synchronize well it doesn't really matter about all this lot the only one that's important is spot removal so as long as that's got a tick in I'm good to go and if I now click synchronize what it'll do is it'll synchronize all those repairs onto these images so now I'll just deselect all them and I'll go and have a look at this image you can see sensor dust gone sensor dust gone sensor dust gone it's a really quick and easy way to get rid of the sensor dust if it's a problem and quite often it can be well okay that's about it the spot removal tool I hope you found it useful if you did please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss future episodes okay so bye for now I'll see you in the next video